Oh yeah, it's fixed. Okay. I can't believe I actually broke it. Dude. Also, look at those stats. Look at those stats. We press escape. Zero keys. Yeah. Three paper ball nope. baskets made for this. You're gonna need to keep doing that. It's really hard. It's like surprisingly difficult. What? Oh, okay, they walked through. Huh? Yeah. Oh, this one's kind of nice. Oh, whoa, 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 wait, wait, wait. There's something on that third thing I've had to do there, maybe? In the Hold on, turn off the music. What does it want? Does it want you to keep doing that? Maybe they want more ads. famous annual Gallows Creek Harvest Festival is back! We got it all out on Giblet Field. We got the Little Miss Harvest Pageant, Princess Harvest Pageant, Harvest Queen Pageant, Cotton Candy, Corn Dogs, Cornhole, Corn on the Cob, Crokinole, Country Music, Can Jam, Jams, Jellies, Jamborees, Juggling, Roller Rickies, Roller Disco Lessons, Praying. Oh. We got baby crawling, balloon popping, balloons for sale, beard contest, horseshoes, hay ride, hay toss, hey you there, safe donkeys and ponies, apple bobbin, firearm, fireworks, funnel cakes, fried dough, sheets, bitten sand, licking, cracker cramming, and cat shop. And fake tattoo, face painting, puppets, petting zoo, amazing maze maze, square dancing, story swapping, spelling bee, quilting bee, and sewing circle, pie eating, lawnmower racing, hot dog eating contest, flower contest, and of course our famous gourd measure off. The festival is brought to you by Mayor Linda Cartwright, sponsored by Gallows and Sons Factory and dedicated to the memory of Garrett Miley, tragically taken from us last festival. What did he die from? I can from? see why it's world famous. It's a highlight around here, Forrest. Oh, I am sorry to hear that, Peggy. All right, folks, <laughs> welcome back to the show. We have a note from my producer. That's right. Come find me at the Harvest Festival tomorrow to grab your choice of a KFAM mug, sticker set, or poster. Let's see what our next caller would choose. Welcome to The Scream with me, Forrest Nash. Yeah, Leslie. This is Maurice Russell from the Gallows Reporter. I'm at the office. This guy just broke in downstairs and... Wait. Forrest Nash? I want to speak to 911. Put Leslie on. What? God, another one? Leslie Leslie's driving me. to Henderson right now. She left me in charge. Why on earth is Leslie... Oh, never mind. Just put me on with Sheriff Matthews. Sheriff, Sheriff Matthews, Matthews is dead. Dead? What happened? Did you witness the incident? Are you willing to do an interview for the reporter? I Come can on. cite you as an anonymous source. Oh God. Hurry up, dude. We're live on the air. Just tell me what's that. It, it, Never bro, mind, that. tell me what's happening there. You said there's been a break-in? That's nothing to get worked up about. Some idiot kid just broke in. Dressed uh -oh. as the whistling man. <laughs> Teens. They get worse every year. They get year. worse every year. No. And this punk wasn't even a disappointing twinkle in his daddy's eye when Edward Marshall uh -oh. Looney stalked the town. But I was there. I, I covered it. Uh oh. Oh, I don't understand. That's not a prankster. That's the whistling man. Of course it's not. It's a stupid kid. Every year this happens. They think it's funny. Not a big deal, old man. But they didn't live through the terror 30 years ago. Anyway, 
I know for a fact. Please stop. Marshall Please, it actually dead. like I hate it. I don't know who I'm looking at on the security monitor. I will stop the thing. Where are you now? I'm in the boardroom. Upstairs. We got security cameras all around the building. You can watch them on any TV set here. And there's a set in the boardroom. Can you Maurice, get out of there? Is there there? any way you can get out of there? Eh, I sure as shit hope so, kid. But I'm not sure how I'm going to do it. That crash you heard was him tipping over my filing cabinets. He's blocking the stairs. I'm guessing the stairs are the only way out? That's right. And it would take me a good few minutes to move those cabinets. We need to do something. But what? All we can do from here is... Forrest, I think I've got it. Why don't we call the killer? They'd have a bunch of oh. phones set up across the office, oh, right? Yeah. In different rooms, with different extensions. So we call one of them. Draw the killer away. Go to the office. Fine, we waste time. That could work. Exactly! It's worth a shot. I can hear you, you know. The son of a bitch hasn't killed me yet. Yeah, sorry, Maurice. Peggy and I were just trying to figure out... You realize how stupid that plan sounds, right? For that to be successful, you're gonna need every phone extension. Plus, a plan of the entire office floor. All delivered while the killer is en route. I've got it. Thank God I've always been cool under pressure. Don't go anywhere. I don't think we were planning to. You... You don't think the killer got him, do you? Mr. Russell... I'm here. Freak's going to be here any second, too. Go check your fax machine. Don't oh. let me down. I can do. What the hell? Where do you have a fax machine? Where the Go, Forrest! Person? The fax machine's in the office on the other side of the hall. Thanks, Peggy. Be right back. Okay. Go to the office on the other end of the hall. Grab the fax from the machine. Easy. Lock. For now. This must be it. Peg, call Peg. What? No, 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 back, 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 Peg. What? Producer, producer button. Hey, did you get the fax? Yes, I have. Mr. Russell, you, uh, you still with us? I am. You get my fax? Yeah, yeah I, I got it. it right here. Good. I knew you could at least manage that. Okay, folks, we're back on the line with Maurice. Let's see if we can help him avoid the whistling man. Here's the situation. Right. The whistling man searched every room in the hall leading up to the boardroom. And now he's in the office next door. It's now or never. This plan of yours better work. I'm ready on my end, Forrest. Again, we want to draw the killer away by dialing an extension number and then move Maurice somewhere safe. So, what extension should I call? Wait, where is he at right Wait. now? The office next door. Office the archives? space? The archives would probably be best to call. Where's the kitchen? Ah, no. Archives would be better. Right. The kitchen's not good, it's kinda close. Editors is gonna. Because uh, he wants to go to the board. Where does he want to go? He's in the office space next door. He's trying to. So he's trying to go downstairs. 
the downstairs is by the kitchen and the archive. Um, he's in the arf he's in the office space next to the boardroom. Uh, if you call the editor's office, it would draw him that way, which would be good to get him away from yeah, the, the editor's office. Or call the editor's office. The extension is zero three. Got it. I'll put the call through when you're ready. All right, Nash. Where do I need to go? Go to the yard. Or kitchen, maybe. You're moving to the kitchen. Yeah. That makes sense. Go somewhere he's already checked. Not bad, Nash. I'm ready to place the call. Are you ready, Mr. Russell? Don't have much choice, do I? Make the call. Yes, sir. Calling now. Calling he now. He just doesn't answer. I can't believe it! He's actually heading to my office! It was all Peggy's idea. Credit goes to her. Uh, don't mention it. The coast is clear. I'm shutting off the TV so he won't see me on the security cameras. Then, making my move, I'll call when I get there. Do you think he'll make it okay? I'm sure he'll be fine. But now what do we do? We gotta find some way for him to get past that barricade. What do you mean? I don't think calling the whistling man is going to buy Maurice enough time to move those cabinets. We got to think of something else. Yeah. Maybe we could... Oh! Call incoming. You ready? Ready as I'll ever be. I put him through. Alrighty. Mr. Russell, are you there? I am. I don't think he saw me. I've got to give you credit for that. But I'm not out of the woods yet. Uh... Right, mm -hmm. let's review where we are. So, the only way out is by the stairs, which the whistling man has blocked with furniture. Exactly. Uh, I can move the furniture out of the way. But not quickly, or quietly. Could you lock him in a room? That'd probably buy you time enough, right? Maybe. But the damn fire regulation. Say every door in the office has to unlock from the inside. He'd be able to get out just as soon as... Wait. Wait, wait, no. No, no, no. I got it. The secret archive through my office. Where we keep our most sensitive records. Ooh, a secret archive? Reggie would love that. What have you got back there? Juicy secrets about outer space? Peggy, oh I think now is the time to be playing around. Yeah. Yeah. You're right. Sorry, Forrest. Kids, we're in the big time now. I've got it all figured out. Whoa. The secret archive. There's no lock on the inside of that room. Only, Only the, the outside. outside. You can't break out. If oh, we can okay, so we need to get up in there. Okay, we can there. catch the son of a gun. Exactly. Oh my god. Forrest, we might be able then to end the nightmare it. right here. So should I call the secret archive then? You can't. The archive is a room for secrets, not gossip. So we don't have a phone in there. Oh, we're gonna need to change it up then. Any ideas, Forrest? Radio? The TV? Maybe we could use a radio. There's no radio in the secret archives. Are there no radios at your offices? I don't have one in my office, but... What is it? Our sports reporter, Hopkins. He has a little portable radio he never turns off when he's here. Okay. That might be what we need then. Is his portable radio still there? It should be. It's what he calls his work radio. It should be in the archives, actually. I'll sneak over while our friend is still distracted with his search. I'll call you back once I've got the radio. We're gonna save him, Forrest. Heck, if this works, we might even save the whole town. Don't say that. Don't get it. We're close. Let's make it happen, Peggy. How can we fail? I oh. mean, it's a plan with steps. 
Get the radio, plan it in the secret archives, lure the killer, and... Oh! Call incoming from the reporter. Putting it through now. Nash, hello? Nash, are you there? I'm here. Is everything okay? I found the radio! It's right He's where I thought yelling. it would be. It's all coming together. I'm just gonna turn it on quickly, make sure it's still got some juice. Maurice, turn the volume down. We don't want that thing blasting just yet. Yeah, yeah, I knew that, Nash. I was just doing that when you yelled at me. The radio works! If I make it out alive, Hopkins might just get that day off if he wanted. That's crazy. Uh, he's earned it. Let's do it for Hopkins, Forrest. No, not for Hopkins. Wait. Oh, God damn it. If I can't have this stupid thing turned up, how am I supposed to draw the killer? I can't be in the room when it's on, or I'm dead. You just... Oh, that's, that's a, a good, good point. point. True. But wait, we're the radio. We can just be quiet until you're ready. Oh, uh, turn everything if down. If you do that, then... Yeah, sure. 189.16, I know that's your station number. But a good editor always double checks. Can you confirm that? 189.16, The Scream. Gallows Creek's best and only oh, phone-in talk show with me, Forrest Nash. And me, Peggy. Jesus Christ. I've got the radio on silent, but I'm tuned in. Now, I just need to get to my office. Sounds like we need to make another call, Forrest. Where should we send the killer? Where does he want to go again? His office. His office, which is the editor. So. And he's in the kitchen or the archive. He's currently in the kitchen. Uh, you can send him to the boardroom. All right. Call the boardroom. The extension is zero four. That might work. The boardroom is fairly close to the editor's office, but we haven't seen the killer go there yet. Are you sure? Let me have a think again. Call the kitchen. The extension is 02. That could work. Oh. The kitchen is far away from the editor's office, but the killer searched it before. Are you sure? Let me have a think again. Call the archives. The extension is 01. I'm in the archives! Keep your head on, man! Or he's gonna cut off mine! It's the boardroom. <laughs> yeah. Call the boardroom. The extension is 04. That might work. The boardroom is fairly close to the editor's office. But we haven't seen the killer go there yet. Are you sure? I'm sure. Make the call. Okay. Calling the boardroom now. He's on the move. I'll call you guys from my office in a second. Looks like we're almost through this nightmare. Any idea what you'll say to draw the killer in? What should I say? If they could buy, I guess. I'll pretend to tell Maurice to hide in the secret archive. The killer will hear me. Go check it out. And we've got it. Oh, I like that. Make the killer think he has the upper hand, and then BAM! I appreciate the vote of confidence. Ooh, call coming in. Here we go. I'm here. The radio's set up in the secret archive. Just give me the signal, and I'll turn it all the way up. Where will you hide in the meantime? I... Uh, good question. It's under my desk, but uh, you can see under it. I've got a big cabinet. But, uh, that'll take me a second to get into. Anywhere else? Uh, not really. There's the secret archive itself, but uh, that's where the kill is going. I could try the cubicles, but they're pretty far away. Your judgment has kept me alive so far, Nash. What do you reckon? I got... I, I'm probably gonna say... 
cabinet. He says it'll take him a second. But I feel like it's fun. Way far away. Cabinet. He said it'll take him a second, but desk is no go. Our yeah. is no go. In our, yeah. Hide in your cabinet. All right. In the desk is too far away. Oh. This is it. I'm going to go turn the radio up to full blast now. Don't say anything until I've had time to hide. You got it? We know the plan. You can trust us. Here we go. I think it should be safe now, Forrest. It's going to be all right. We won't look for you there, I promise. And Mr. Russell, be quiet. It's important you make no sound. Quick, Mr. Russell, hide in the back room in your office. <laughs> Listeners, this is Forrest Nash of 189.16, The Scream. The Scream. And if you've just tuned in... See you in hell, kid! We've just locked up the Whistling Man. W? Forrest, you beautiful bastard! <laughs> I can't, can't believe that actually work. worked! If I'm being honest, I can't believe it either. Thank God it's over. I'll be off now. Gotta get out of here. Write up a few notes. Call a few friends. I'd feel safer waiting for the cops to come grab this freak with some company. Hey, maybe you and me could do an interview tomorrow for the Gallows Reporter. I'll think about it. Let's see what tomorrow brings. I'll take that Wait, as a yes. Did he just reveal Talk who was helping own. everybody? There we are, folks. And play some killer tunes. And the whistler, the whistling man, has a radio now to hear exactly what he's doing. Yeah, but the whistling man can't get out. Looks like the night should be pretty easy from here on out. Right? And thank God that's over. I guess we got some downtime it's not now. Over, but. I could ask you some questions to kill the time. You're gonna interview me. You sure about that? You're not so scary. Besides, we've been working together like a week now, and you're still all shrouded in mystery. I'll regret this, but okay. Question one. Tell me about your family. Ooh. What? <laughs> Come on, Peggy. That, that's too general. Okay. Did anyone move with you to Gallows Creek? Nope. Now that's too specific. Too specific? I... Do you have any siblings? I don't. I'm an only child and my I folks are dead. Me. Oh, I'm sorry, Forrest. Why did you do it? You're sorry, why? Did you do it? Of course not. I only... I'm just messing with you. Anyway. What about you? Any siblings? Your mom and pop still around? I thought I was asking the questions. You were. I'm just making conversation now. Oh. Well, my folks went the same way as yours. Oh, what huh. A what a coincidence. Yeah. My dad walked out when I was about 13. Oof. He'd been a wreck for a while. Then he got himself into a wreck. Well, that was dad. Mom didn't take it well. She remarried pretty quick after that. She wanted to forget Dad so bad, she even made me take my stepdad's last name. So I'm Peggy Weaver now. Anyway, Mr. Weaver got no. sick one day, and my mom didn't last long after he went. I'm sorry to hear that, Peg. Don't call me Peg. Yeah, sorry. He's I'm trying to be. Oh my God! It's okay. He's I know. Trying to raise I'm day. sorry. I'm defensive about that name. He definitely Any is. siblings? He's Funny you mention that now. No. Not anymore. I had yeah, a sister, but I haven't seen her since before my dad. Hold on. Someone just rang the door buzzer. 
What on earth could someone want at this hour? I don't know. Do you want to go check it out? Me? You sure you don't want to go? I can't leave the booth while we're on air. One of Reggie's KFAM regulations. I'll pass you the key to the stairs. Uh-uh-uh. Bad, bad, bad. She slipped it under the door. Okay. Down to the first floor, then check There's the one door. Key. She slipped it under the door. Oh my god. The... Ooh, we didn't like get that. Okay. That's not opening. Drop the key, didn't you? Did I drop the key or is it in my inventory? I think you dropped it. Isn't it over there? Maybe not. Maybe try opening the door, I guess. Oh, never mind. Oh, that one I hate it. This place is creepy. Yo? Okay, actually that lobby's kind of sick though. I like that retro vibe. A... Tape. Play oh, on no. air. Uh-oh, it's gonna be like it's a killer. It's a B-Max instead of Betamax, dude. Oh my god. It's gonna be like a killer or something. Or it's just gonna be up to me. This is 103.764, and I don't remember the number. 189.16. Hello, Gallows Creek. Time to pay the price. Time to pay for lies. Time to sit there. I will punish you. I'll... I'm going to enjoy this. I did not enjoy that. What the hell was that? He edited it together. It's like the newspaper. I... Clips. Oh, mm -hmm. Forrest, we're still on air. Say something. Folks, be the... careful, Gallagher. Oh. <clears throat> Folks, the tape you just heard was passed through our door only moments ago. I don't know how or why that came through our door with the killer locked up, but be I'm careful, Gallows Creek. Stay home then. and stay safe. Give us a call if you need help. You can get us on 911. 911. Unless there's multiple whistling men. I'm assuming it's just the one, though. Hey, we had a call come in. Collar, you're on 189.16, The Scream, with. Ash! Oh. Shut up and listen to me! Mr. Russell? What's wrong? Are you okay? I said listen! He's gone! The whistling man is gone! He's gone? What, what happened? happened? Well, after our call, I cleared the stairs and went home. I phoned some buddies, and we came back here to keep watch. Why did then you come what back? happened? I'm getting to that. We came back here. Or the door with was shut, just as I, as I left, left it. We had a couple of drinks, and, well, there was a bunch of us, and we were all armed. Oh, they right. thought we could teach the freak a lesson before oh, the cops down. got him. Wait. I don't blame you. <sighs> no. Did you let him escape? Of course we did it. I demand you retract that accusation. Oh, damn it, Maurice. Just tell me what happened with this plan of yours. This was not my idea. The guys just grabbed their weapons and unlocked the door. I braced myself and... Then? Then nothing. The room was empty. The door was still locked. How the okay. hell did he get out? Are you sure it was still locked? I'm telling oh, yeah, yeah. you, it was locked. No way out of there. None. Unless he Maybe. I mean, room. I know it's crazy, <laughs> but if he's back from the dead, then... Also, how did he no, not get killed? Ridiculous, he ridiculous, Peggy. Dead? It would sure. explain things. I mean, how do we know he's not? If he used no up, if he was using a revolver, oh, did you say something, Maurice? Maloney, I 
I said baloney. Look, I don't want anything more to do with this. I'm clearing out a dodge. And I recommend you and everyone listening do the same. He seems really spooked. <laughs> Wouldn't you be if you got attacked by a serial killer who turned out to be a demonic spirit? <laughs> He's not a demon, Peggy. Yeah, you're probably right. But what do we do now? One oh four, oh. dude. What the heck, bro? Okay, that's a skip of twenty minutes. Thank you again, Mrs. McKenzie, for the helpful tip. The bagger at the grocery store cannot whistle. We'll remove her from the suspect list. Let's go to a break. I need you for a second. All right, folks. We need to take a quick break. This one's for all those folks out there keeping the hatches batted. Hope you enjoy this one as much as I do. All right, Peggy, what's up? I pushed a cassette under my door. Go play it. She can't come out. No, she didn't. She said she didn't want to. She's crazy. You might want to turn down cassette volume. Or try your call again. Straight to voicemail? My god. Are there any professionals at KFAM? This is Gina Franklin. I'm calling because your backwater station has not honored our agreement. We gave All right, you Mr. I've got Thatcher's it. Newest Did we forget an ad or something? I don't know. It was buried in my work mail. I it only never just will saw again. it. And See what it says. Uh, any play me ASAP. Off air. That's Reggie's handwriting. And he wrote it in purple. And? Purple is Reggie's angry color. He only writes in purple when he's really pissed off. What about when you're fitting it into your busy programming? I'll be frank. Purple I didn't message. want you as part of the debut, right. but Mr. Snatcher, I'll put it on. I hope it's nothing serious. Or try your call again. Straight to voicemail? My God. Are there any professionals at KFAM? This is Gina, Gina Franklin. Franklin. I'm calling because your backwater station has not honored our agreement. We gave you Mr. Snatcher's newest single, the kind of honor you never had and probably never will again. And we've still not received any information about when you're fitting it into your busy programming. I'll be frank, I didn't want you as part of this debut, but Mr. Snatcher, due to his prior friendship with Mr. Nash... Prior and current friendship, Gina. Forrest Nate, you alright? Don't worry about Gina, you know how she is. Boy, but yeah, I can't wait for you to hear the new single, man. I think Final Breath is my best work yet. I really hope you and your listeners like it. And man, if you ever find your way this side of the pond, let me know. We'll have to catch up. Oh, yeah, if Final Breath isn't played on your airwaves by the end of Mr. Nash's show tonight, the next call will be much less friendly. That was Roddy Snatcher, Forrest! You know, you know Roddy Snatcher? Roddy Snatcher? Yeah, Roddy and I are old friends. I love Roddy! I Will Always Find You was my song. I wish we still had it in rotation. Oh my god, I can't believe you know Roddy Snatcher. And I can't believe you didn't tell me he sent you his new single. We have to play Final Breath. Where is it? I don't know. They mailed it to KFAM, not to me. Then it's gotta be downstairs at reception. Uh, man, I can't believe Barbara I don't like my man. I mean, well, if that fiasco Don't last care. Friday about the missing knife and easy track is any indication, folks at KFAM aren't against hoarding station music for personal use. I think we're still missing a few tracks, actually. Wow. Well, go get Roddy's song before Gina sues the pants off us. Okay, Come on, Gina. Sued. That. Gina wouldn't do, do that. No, because he Gina's a no. I mean, a woman. Yeah, but she can't do anything without Roddy's approval. And Roddy would never sue Mr. So Roddy would be bugging out too hard to even realize what was going on. 
No, you're right. Roddy would be high. Roddy would be stoned out of his mind. You would be high, bro. You'd just be like this playing down. You'd be doing it. Literally, how how he sounds, bro. What is he doing? Bro, you don't you don't sound like that just by getting high, bro. He's got to be on some crazy stuff. He's out of it, bro. He's one of I don't know. I've seen some people in mushrooms, bro. That was crazy, oh yeah. God. Of course you go. Roddy um, man. Read the thing. Oh, no more. No, you gotta go through the reception desk, I think. Go behind it. How the hell do I get behind it? That! I didn't know what that was. That's how you enter and exit or accept a death, you idiot. No, in a lot of games, they don't have anything there. Yeah, because in a lot of real life scenarios, they don't. But in most scenarios where it's like a wooden desk like this, where it's an older thing, like that. Wait, also, he said floppy disk. And it's cassette. Yeah, I don't know what that's about. Yeah, leave so what? Many locked like. doors, so few keys. I don't know. I don't know why. We actually had floppy disks in the lab. Really? Yeah, we had these col different colored ones, and they were like the really high capacity floppy disks. This must be it. And by breath. high capacity, my I tiny know, selection like, grows. I think it was like a megabyte. But then Did you, uh, we actually had floppy drives. We thought about we were trying to get like a game installed on a floppy drive because it was it would be funny. We were trying to put like a bunch of floppy drives in RAID too, but we kind of gave up. Did you? Uh... I don't know. I don't even know. I don't even know. I don't even know. I don't even know. This is for Smash with the one that 181.6. Wait, 189.16. You're on the air. This is. 189.16. One eighty nine point sixteen. Hey, did you get it? Got it. Let's get this on the air. <laughs> yeah, Lowe's Greek. I'm pleased to say we're in for a much needed treat. Up next, courtesy of the British sensation himself, is a track you won't hear everywhere. Here's Final Breath, Breath by, by Roddy, Roddy Snatcher. Probably like really horrible. Yeah. Wow. God, Roddy's the best. He is. And more importantly, we should be safe from the worst of Gina Franklin. Whew. All right. I didn't even play it. And I think that's every time I've seen him live. Peggy, you just 